We have a situation where the majority of our patients are women and children and old men or disabled men who cannot enter the labor market as it's traditionally called. And this creates a situation where one has to deal with women mainly in terms of the projects that we have and the work that we do on a day-to-day -day basis of preventing, curing and promoting proper health care in this particular area. The conditions of the people that we see here are real typical rural problems or rural conditions where you find that people are living under conditions of poverty, of social dislocation and family disintegration. And in our particular area, there's also the added dimension of the communities that we serve are not really communities in the traditional sense. They're just really a conglomeration of people who have been moved from different areas and relocated where they find themselves now. You have the situation where the man is out working as a migrant worker because there's no not sufficient employment locally and in his absence his wife and children have to make do with the business of surviving in his absence now this places a lot of strain on the woman who now has to act as the head of the family carry a lot of responsibility, but because of traditional hang-ups and notions, she doesn't have the authority to do all the things that she needs to do.